I can think of no more appropriate way to pay tribute to the legacy of Title IX and all that is done for women and girls to participate in sports over the last 50 years than to pass this bipartisan bill on the eve of its 50th anniversary. The bill we are voting on represents months of work with the United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee advocates and bipartisan colleagues to ensure that men and women competing internationally for Team USA receive equal compensation, benefits, medical care, travel, and coverage expenses. Recently, the U.S. women's soccer team won a long battle for equal pay, shedding light on an issue that had been ignored for too long. Our women's national team has won four World Cup titles, four Olympic gold medals, and is currently ranked number one in the world. Despite their outstanding resume, the players have consistently been paid less than their male counterparts. The deal U.S. soccer reached last month to close the gender wage gap was historic, and we should build off that momentum. Currently, men and women can be and are paid differently for representing Team USA in the same exact sport. The Equal Pay for Team USA Act will ensure that all Americans who represent our country in global athletic competition are paid equal and receive equal benefits. It's that simple, equal pay for equal play. The joy of sports depends on an even playing field and on the world stage, it's crucial that our teams uphold that value, whether they're in the arena, in front of screaming fans or negotiating compensation off court. But our athletes shouldn't have to fight that hard to get the same pay for the same work. It's not right. The 50th anniversary of Title IX, uh, the law that mandated equal access to activities for girls and women at federally funded schools, but we clearly still have miles to go when it comes to fairly compensating athletes. There's no reason that any athlete with the letters USA written on their uniform should bring home a smaller paycheck just because of their gender. 